Hello, you're watching Bangkok Post. I'm Janine Pakditam. Today, we're speaking with Mrs. Supaji Sutampan, the group executive of Dusit Thani International. Please tell me about Dusit Central Park and what makes it unique. Dusit Central Park is very important for us all at Dusit Thani because at the heart of this project is a reimagine of our unique uh, flagship hotels, the Dusit Thani Bangkok. And this project gives us an opportunity to fully embrace the legacies, uh, the visions that we have with the new unique projects that's going to be the new icon of Bangkok. It's a combination of hotel, obviously, our flagship hotel, Rusitani Bangkok, residences, uh, retail space, and also office space. And it's actually integrated all these four uses with the uh, very uh, unique sky roof park. Uh, the size is actually the, about seven rise. The location of this uh, project is in the middle of the city, in Bangkok City. That is an intersection of the uh, sky train, BTS, and also the underground train. This is actually could be the super core CBD for all kind of uh, businesses. Thank you. That sounds like a very exciting project. So I have to ask you, uh, what's the progress in terms of the construction? The construction uh, moving along quite well. Uh, we aim to have the hotels to reopen our door to receive all the guests by the end of 2023 and followed by the other use. The COVID-19 pandemic, it poses challenges for businesses like no other. So I have to ask, how do you navigate that? And what's your business plan and strategy? We don't know when the COVID is going to be away or perhaps it's not going away. We have to also try to make sure that our business model for the future is going to be relevant because the lifestyle, the behaviors of our guests, the consumer behavior will change. Our financial model also have to be quite resilient because the, um, the situations take, you know, very long time. So therefore, your liquidity is actually going to be very important. Many people uh, might feel that during this time, we should pause all investment. And I believe that you probably have your questions in mind. And why are you still moving on with that big project of 46 billion uh, baht of project, right? For us to pause everything, it's probably going to address only for short term. What we need to do is we need to look for longer term uh, issues and longer term opportunity as well. So we have to be very selective on what to pause, what to hold, and what to move on. If I give you example, like the, uh, the residences project, prior to COVID, we actually come up with a plan that we're gonna have about 400 you know, units of residences to sell. But after the COVID situation, we see that if we do the same thing as what we plan to do prior to COVID, we're probably not addressing future uh, requirement and our 400 units probably not going to uh, address whatever the requirement or demand in the future. We decided to go deep in terms of the study, uh, market study, and we found out that the market segment that still have a very good op uh, potential or opportunity is super luxury. So therefore, we decided to then create a two brand of our residences. Instead of have one brand as uh, 400 units, Dusit Residences, then we uh, separate it into two brands, Dusit Residences and Dusit Parkside. And each brand, we put on the super luxury element to ensure that it address all type of requirement after we have done that kind of research. Bangkok reopening um, that is set to happen relatively soon, we hope. Um, how does the Tiny prepare and plan for the reopening? So we need to ensure that our property is ready. Our people also need to be ready as well. We need to be able to deliver our unique, gracious hospitality. But that, what else that we can do? There probably something else more. So we did some study and then we come up with another three pillars. The other three pillars is to address wellness, to address locality, to address sustainability. 
Thank you. Um, and my last question, um, how do you plan to make up for the absence of Chinese tourists? Chinese is very important. Uh, we, Thailand and also Dusit, uh, have Chi Chinese travelers as one of our top, you know, uh, top countries that come to, to our properties worldwide, not only here in Thailand. So it's going to be quite difficult uh, to just uh, replace the, the quantities of the travelers. And, and by right, we shouldn't actually replace by quantity. Therefore, we go by quality, we go by value added, we go by experience in order for us to not replacing Chinese because they're very important, but to compensate the revenue shortfall from that uh, segment.